I'll just um, leave this floating, I guess, you know. Um, anyways, hello. It is I, Baron and Freyr, you know, the um, owner of this channel. I've never done this before, you know, read- Oh, shit. I'm reading through a script in VR chat and or in my VR set and I'm gonna be bumping everything. All right, let's get- let's cut this part out. Hi, it is I, Baron and Freyr. God damn it. Can't decide on anything, dude. I can't. Oh God, just give me a, just give me, give me this. Give me this right now. Just give me. Anyways, I'm reading through a script. I cannot see where my microphone is because I'm looking at a script and I'm looking at the camera, kind of. Well, my eyes are not gonna be as receptive as my hands, I guess, or my mouth. But whatever, that's not important. You know what is what I'm about to say? <laughs> I'm tired of VTubing. Uh, uh, uh. I'm so done with this VTubing thing. But what is VTubing? QV Sauce SFX. Huh. Oh. This channel's first steps started on January 21st of 2021. That's almost four years. I started VTubing without knowing anything about it. And I'm gonna argue about the context of these two very words, by the way. I don't wanna get into the history of VTubing because there's too many video essays that do this. So if you've if you've been on the internet, then you should know. But if you don't, then you're probably a normie. You know, you get out of here. But allow me to defend myself. The term VTuber was coined by Kizunai, who was hailed as the first one among us. Q Imposter SFX. God damn it. However, the term VTuber now has other implications because of the popularity of Hololive. You absolutely cannot tell me otherwise that this isn't true. Everybody knew VTubers because of Hololive. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, okay? But do you know what I should have known? The culture. The term VTuber now has connotations of idol culture because of Hololive. I thought being a VTuber just meant that you had an anime model and made content through the model. I thought it was just a medium. But now, it's like a whole different genre of content creation. I know. I should have done my damn research. But it's too late. VTubers shouldn't even be called VTubers. The common term should be VStreamers since most VTubers stream instead of make videos. But that's just me being pedantic. Any Metatron fans here? Roma Invicta? Carthago de Linde Est? Do not search the Latin term for pig. But anyways, I love jumping into the unknown, and I fell deep. The abyss was digging itself as I was falling into it. I was witnessing my own grave. I used to make videos when I was younger, but they were obviously crap, because I was a high schooler. I did what was fun, and I loved them. But now I'm locked in, like, put me in the game cap type of locked in, you know? but I was setting myself up for failure. One thing that people either didn't recognize or failed to mention is that VTubing is a visual based niche. So for those who wanna know what it's like to be a VTuber, my tip is to get an expensive or good looking model and just go ham. This is why people call artists the lifeblood of VTubers. They literally birth the VTubers into existence. There are probably more artists than there are VTubers. You, right now, watching. You are either the two types of people who watch VTubers. People who enjoy VTubers or VTubers themselves. You are attracted to videos that have the name Things to start out as a VTuber or How to decide on a model. This is the main demographic of VTuber content. Which brings me to my next point. You know what this all delves into? It's the audience. The audience watches VTubers to see an anime character do anime style things. That's it. It's not me. <laughs> That's th it's not me. That's a problem. <laughs> it's you. You weebs. You degenerates of society who waste air and resources. You who believe the false reality that we live in. It is you that wants to get into the pants of virtual characters that don't and won't ever look at you. The parasocial relationship that you want to build with your oh she's What you am I looking for? Mommy? Girlfriend experience? Idol? Literal children? Your pick. It's not me. There's nothing wrong with me. It's not me. When you think of VTubers, who do you think of? Don't lie to me. It's definitely 
one of the Hololive girls, isn't it? Hololive is an idol group. I'm not a damn idol. I don't want to be an idol. But they are the most successful niche of VTubers there are. Now I'm gonna have to show you my tweet right here of my results for the uh, this question. And uh, here are the results. Oh. Well, nobody gives a shit, I guess. I also asked this on stream and they had a little bit of a different result. So it's either a Hololive character or Kizuna Ai. Great. That's just it. They founded this shit. So. During the time, male VTubers weren't even popular. They were quite hated until Luxium debuted. And trust me, th those are facts, for sure. No one was really mainstream during the time. And now suddenly, everybody needs to do ASMR to get views. Everybody needs to do deep voice. Everybody needs to be boyfriend material. Everybody needs to be baby girl, you know. Like that shit is super cringe. There was a time when I thought if you can't beat them, join them. I did this like one video that was a thirst trap, but uh, it was a very low point in my life and it didn't do much numbers really. <laughs> I'm so fucking sad. Hey, it's post-production Baron here. Apparently I did two of these. This is the second one. <sighs> I re I'm really contemplating on making ASMR content, but my sanity can't handle that shit like it, it's it's still cringe like physically like my body just can't handle it you know what doesn't help the drama the guys already have a bad rep and now we're getting flack for shit that other dudes did i didn't groom that minor i didn't run away from my debts i'm not the one who sexually harassed anybody why are we getting this flack it wasn't me wasn't me. But worst of all, male VTubers are still kind of frowned upon and even segregated. Male VTubers are classified as a whole subgenre of a subgenre. People talk about male VTubers like a sandwich flavor and not a sandwich. I feel like us dudes have a natural debuff to this genre, but that's the thing. We can't just copy the big shots because the big shots aren't dudes. So now we have to find a niche within the niche. I recently am trying to find more of male VTubers on Twitch, but where the fuck are they? Is it just me or a lot of guys here are too comfy and give the cozy tag on their fucking streams? Like, I'm pretty sure if you met a guy on the street or anywhere else, they're not comfy. Sure, they're nice and kind, but like, I'm pretty sure those guys are unhinged as fuck. Here's my advice as a nobody male VTuber who had no big success in four years. One, don't be a dude in this genre. I'm joking. Actually, it's don't be a VTuber. Nah, 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 nah. but really. Change your pre-debut status to graduated or cancelled. I'm kidding. <laughs> alright, alright. Here's the actual advice. Don't dive into this without prior research if you're serious about this pursuit. The Filipino VTubing community has been spicy with drama since the beginning of this year. <coughs> no, sorry, that was the spice. But it kind of died down for a while and now this month of October, there's some uh, spicy shit there. And that shit was tea served on a pristine platter saucer whatever same thing here's the kicker the crime sexual harassment go figure like these people just can't hold it in in their pants i would do anything to be in their spot well not their situation but to have so many followers just to destroy it if you ask me if this is all worth it not really four years and i'm still not 1k subs like i have created more than 400 videos including shorts and live streams on youtube and adding to that the streams on twitch like is something wrong with me like what the my most successful video was a shitpost cover of kanye's i love kanye but i parodied it to be millie millie parfait ever heard of her you know one of the first filipino vtubers that went mainstream hmm? ring a bell you know what that cover tells me i should chase drama i should chase bigger creators and put them in my videos. Me and Sebastian, who did the vocals of the song, didn't expect it to break 200 views. I gained 130 subs from that, and almost half of that is my channel's view count. It's, it, 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 it was a lot. It was a lot of views. I don't really like dunking on other creators too often. I like tea and drama, but I'm not a journalist, and I don't want to do that kind of content. I'm not False ID, you know, or Kyo. I don't have informants like fucking false ID, you know, that guy's fucking insane. And I don't really want to do that kind of content anyway, so 
I'm conflicted. You know, I try to make original, funny content, but I guess I should just use bigger creators as content. Like, I'm confused. If you look through my channel, it's a mishmash of variety content. It's like it has no identity. But I had this principle of putting eggs in several baskets and see what would stick. And now I have too many baskets and too many eggs. And because of that, I always feel like I needed to cook content. Always needed to impress the algo. Always needed to follow the trends. Always needed to transform existing content. Stream, clip, edit, repeat, stream, clip, edit, repeat, stream, clip, edit, repeat, long form, short form, evergreen, network, discord, twitter, tiktok, community, collabs, covers, streams, clips, edit, repeat, streams, clips, edit, repeat, stream, clips, edit, repeat, content, 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 content. I've done this for four years and I've yet to gain a net positive. I bought this live 2D model and a VR headset to gesticulate my hands for my 3D model, which I made by the way. And for what? Oh, you're doing it for the money. Of course I am. I spent so much goddamn money. I would like some goddamn returns. You know, it, I mean, this is an investment. A woodcarver would like to sell his products. An entertainer would like to fill seats. And a VTuber wants to get red super chats. Maybe I'm not collabing enough. Not enough networking, or maybe I just should hunker down and focus on a real niche. I've watched countless of videos of tips on how to grow your channel as both a VTuber and a YouTuber, and they all say the same thing. Be original or transform content. Satisfy the algorithm. There's just too much competition already. I mean, as a VTuber and let alone a male VTuber, or maybe my videos are still crappy and I'm not trying hard enough. I've gambled my time and energy into this channel and I'm still not landing where I want to be. But 90% of gamblers stop right before they're about to win big, don't they? I wasn't kidding when I said I knew almost nothing about VTubing. I literally had to ask my friends on how it works. VTubing has slightly changed with some norms being broken, like revealing your face or being a male VTuber. Now to address the title of the video, I do kind of regret VTubing. If I had known that this was the audience and the culture of VTubing, I may not have begun whatever this is, but it definitely had its boons. I gained new friends and some of them I'm really close to. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> All of this still just kind of sucks. I have regulars, you know, they're, they're really nice and they're very kind. You know, I, without them, I really wouldn't, really wouldn't have any steam to continue on, you know. And if they are ever here, you know, I really thank you. I really thank you for everything, you know, all of it. I've gone through several emotions while writing the script. I felt frustration, sadness, and maybe a little horny. And I've come to realize that this hobby is killing me. The hope in my eyes is crushed every time a new video or stream doesn't do well. Because of how many times I've done it, I've become numb. I don't give myself time to be proud of what content I've just made, you know? I I keep pushing through, you know? Just keep pumping that content, you know? Pump a new video or stream, and then that's it. New video idea, check it later, maybe after a few more weeks, maybe a month. You know, see if it cooks. Maybe, maybe my videos are just shit, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not trying hard enough, you know, maybe, maybe that's it, you know, I should just jump off this fucking mountain already, dude. By the way, if you notice that, um, little thing up there, that's supposed to be where Chad is. And I forgot throughout the whole video to remove it, because I'm clumsy. Maybe that's why I don't have any views, you know? Because <laughs> I'm still scuffed, you know, I'm, it's four years, four years, and I'm still scuffed. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine about this situation and like I've just talked about this problem for a while now with different groups of people and it's it's like it's not going anywhere but you know at least at least talking was enough to power me through you know <laughs> I'm not depressed what? what I'm not sad getting sad <laughs> what VTubers have no emotions the only emotions VTubers have is horny it's nice to be on this journey with a lot of people in hand. Well, at least the climb up the mountain, it's not as harrowing as it seems because there are people with you. At least I'm lucky enough to have that. I feel like I've been burnt out too many times in a year. It's not healthy. This dream is just too distant for me to even manifest in my imagination. You know, it's really good to dream. You know, 
it's something that you need to continue on you know it's 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 like coal for a, for an, for an engine content creation was always a passion of mine for a while i just love creating something that i can be truly proud of maybe that's all i need to move forward to hold on to that dream that may never come true it may be a lie but it has kept me going the past four years my content and myself have changed and will continue to evolve for better or for worse we try and try again until it makes us or it breaks us to the loving sinners, thank you. To the new ones, take a seat and subscribe because the devil has delivered and our deal is done. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye now. Go watch my videos. Watch all of it. Watch my streams. I stream on Twitch. Go follow all my socials. Please, please give me the virtual numbers that I need. <laughs> Fuck. What, what do you guys want, huh? There's one. You guys want this? Whatever is this? What is this? I can't read it. It's. I'm, I'm going blind. I think it's because of the smoking. Fuck it. You know. You know what? Let's let's mix. Let's let's destroy our lungs, and our stomach. You know. You know, and then I. Yeah. <sighs>